Got a coffee? Uh, no, I'm OK, thanks. Oh, strictly booze on your mini Hindu. You know what's today? Yeah, yeah, it should be good. Well, last of the RSVPs, I hope. No one's turned us down yet. It's, it's going to cost a fortune. Thank God my dad's paying for the booze. Pete, can you just sit down for a minute? Oh, I'm sorry, babe, I've got a busy day. But I'll be back after tea and just make sure you're back. No, listen, I, I really need to tell you something. All right. Let's make it quick, though, yeah? Morning! Hey! Uh, right, Sambuca's till we're trolled and then into town to pick a fight with some skanks. Uh, you know Sarah's coming? Yeah, that was her suggestion. <sighs> Are you all ready for your cowboy stag on Monday? Which sounds well camp, by the way. Well, what's to get ready for? Put on a check shirt, cool lap, wow, looking ace. <laughs> like, are you going to tell me what's wrong? You're not worried about this new vicar, are you? Well, yeah, a bit. I mean, you know, I've only just got to know Clive. Do you reckon it's going to be all right? Of course it will. Well, it's just someone saying words and us saying them back. Oh, pass me a fan. I think I'm going to swoon from the sheer romance. <laughs> like, I mean, it doesn't matter who does it. I don't care as long as me and you get married. Oh. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Right. Mum, what yeah. Kerry do me and Elsa Platt? That's one of them. <sighs> like, I knew there must be someone in the world who hasn't seen it. Right, I'll phone you guys and no strippers. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. See ya. See ya. Uh, someone's turning up there. That's nice. Uh, no, I'm just making sure that you have. I'm out with Sarah and Chad all day today. Oh, yeah, Kelly said you'd box in, but you know this isn't the salon, right? <laughs> yes, I've been. I've left them there. There's only so much jibber I can take. Mm. Sarah's excited, is she? I was talking about Kerry, actually. Oh, right. Uh, on that subject, the invite, does that include Kerry? Did it say Kerry on it? No, but that's what I'm saying. She hasn't got an invite. No. Would you invite a lad my liability to your wedding? She's not. Everyone could do with stopping saying things like that. Oh, right, OK. So it's just everyone else that's wrong and you right. Anyway, uh, go to the cafe, get yourself a buddy. I'm not hungry. Right, well, sit there and tell it your troubles then. Mm, nowhere I could start. Oh, and you can work on that as well. Mm. Okay, not in then. Have you seen him? No. Have you spoken to Pete? No, but I did try to. You said you were going to. Ross, have you got any idea how hard this is? Yeah, and it's not going to get any easier. Right, yeah, okay, thank you, I know that. Anyway, he's out all day now. Send him a message. Text him this. No, I didn't mean Soz mate ran off with your bruv unsmiley face. Write him a letter or something. Please, Debbie, I need to be with you. Do what is best for us. Hello. Oh, you look posh. Grandmum's Hindu. I know. Uh, shall I get Bob to do a little dance? I think we've got some whipped cream back there. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Um, I'll get two coffees, please, and an orange and lemonade. Actually, I think I might need a whiskey. I'm still imagining Bob. <laughs> Did you get them fancy thigh busters I ordered? Yeah, I'll get them for you. Does coffee make you drunk? No, why? Because Chloe at school, her mum had a hen to and she got drunk and weed in a bin. Oh. Hey, well, look at you. Uh, have you left the garage on its own? No, me, you, Kane and Ross did. I'm just here getting that bus he wanted me to talk to. Mum, what should we do next? Mum, what should we do? Well, my advice, for what it's worth, is to try and stay married for more than an hour before you do a runner. Not everyone as daft as me. Mm, only messing. All works out in the end, though, eh? Mm. <laughs> How can you still like each other? <laughs> well, because, you know, some people are just happy and not married. Nice. Save that for your vows. Mm. And on that subject, your wedding, again, um, can I just bring Kerry with me? Dad, you know. what did I say? No. Mm. Right, I just need to nip out. Where? Be just out, but, but I won't be long. I'll be fine with Charles, OK? It's just something that I need to do. Right. We set? Yeah. I'm going to get the kids. But we're leaving Moses, though, yeah? What? No, Ross, you know we're not. But he's just a tiny baby. 
Oh, right, OK, so that makes it all right to abandon him, does it? No, I just... I just don't think it's very fair to be dragging him all over the place. Do you not think? Well, we're not going all over the place. Yeah, I know, Ross, but... he's coming. <sighs> what is the matter with you? Nothing. Well, you're jumpy. Yeah, I'm just impatient. I'm not very good at waiting for things. Yeah, well, I never would have guessed. Right, come on. Let's get this in your car. Dad, hiya. That's a lot of bags. Yeah, the uh, charity shop's going to be well chuffed. Yeah. You like to do a bit of charity, don't you? Hey, you. I was just coming to get the other two. All right. And take them all where? Uh, at home. I think you were going on a little trip, Dabs, weren't you? <sighs> Drop the act. Fine. How can you be this stupid? It's what we both want. What, and you're happy breaking your family's hearts? Not to mention Pete's. And mine. We're not going forever. You're not going at all. Yes, we are. <laughs> we have to, OK? I love him. You've got to be quiet, Ross. I will look after her. I mean it. We're going, Dad. Yeah, and you, and you can't stop us, so... No? Well, let's see, eh? Let's see how you feel after I've told you a little secret about this bloke that you wanted to chuck your life away on. <sighs> oh, here we go. Well, we're not perfect, all right, and we both know that, but we haven't got secrets. We don't need them. Oh, so you know you're holding his kid, do you? 